door. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! <laughs> 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 Matt, what the hell was that? Wasn't me, coach. Welcome to the straight red car. Get off our lawn. Welcome to the straight mother flipping world red card. I'm really sticking to it that early, huh? Yeah, trying not to swear. Um... Do you think they'd it, get us if we started saying Farkin or Fark? I don't know. Farke? Whatever. You know Daniel Farker's back in the Bundesliga. Yeah, I know. He's doing okay. Yeah. He's a good coach. Um, I'm not saying that Norwich's coach that they have now isn't a good coach. He's doing very well. Dean. Maybe it's just name? the players. Dean Henry. And they're doing well, they're doing well in championship. It's like championship. Yes. Yeah, so it's it's not the same thing. Um you know, Farka had a, manager did well in Premier League. Farka has, yeah, he had a challenge on his hands. He had a Farkin challenge on mm -hmm. his hands. So, um, but anyhow, we're going to talk about, oh, something happened with Jackson, you said? I don't understand that. Yeah, well, before. so we were uh, we were up in uh, Michigan this weekend visiting family. And oh, no wonder you're so exhausted. I'm always exhausted. You too. drove all the way to fucking Michigan this weekend. Yeah, we actually usually we drive up Friday, but uh, we didn't. We drove up Saturday, so we even lost part of Saturday of relaxing. Oh. No, so my my mother in law wanted to take the kids on Saturday and Sunday night, so like we all hung out like at uh, my uh, brother in law's house, and then she took them home with her with him, mm -hmm. which is great. I finally got the I finally got a full night's sleep without any kid pestering me in the morning. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, my mother-in-law ended up taking the kids, walked the dog to this place called Roosters, just down the street from her house. And that she had to go like a total fucking dive bar with strippers. Yes. <laughs> kind of plays into the effect of the story. But they walk in. It's some kind of a like a sweet slash convenient type store place. I don't know. Mm. They got ice cream, candy, all that type of thing. And so uh, my mother-in-law gives gives each Jackson and Charlie twenty bucks, like each. And sends them in there. She knows the people there, so she's like, "Hey, if they if they're if they're buying too much that they need that they don't have enough money, let me know." And uh, my son comes back out and goes, uh, "Mimi, do you want anything? I can get you something." And she's like, "No, no, Jackson, I'm fine. I'm fine." She goes, "How about I just go tell them I'll get you an adult beverage?" And then walks back in. <laughs> I died laughing at that story. I'm like, "That's my boy." Your boys buying drinks for your grandmother, <laughs> his grandmother. That was funny. But the very next day, though, I went to go pick him up to take him to uh, the brother in law's. And uh, Jackson's like, Dad, I've got 50 bucks. I'm like, How do you got 50 bucks? And <laughs> mother in law's like, He doesn't have $50. Goes, yes, I do. He pulls it out. He's like, pulls. It, there's 10, there's a 20. I guess I only got 40. I'm like, mm. Jackson, that's a two 20s and a 10. That's 50 bucks. How'd you get that? <laughs> And so my mother on the last off, she goes, Oh, yeah, you must have found some money lying around. And so we're about to leave. And I'm like, Jackson, here, let me see that 50 bucks. And I, he gives it to me. And I'm like, I hand it back to my mother in law. I'm like, Here you go. <laughs> he doesn't need 50 bucks. And she's like, Well, he was talking about wanting to go to the dollar store and buy 50 things. <laughs> it's just like, Jesus Christ, Jack. Talk about burning your money if that's what you want to do. Well, that sounds like a lot better trip to the grandparents than. Um... <laughs> uh, when we went and visited Grandpa Richie in Michigan, mm. uh, Jason and I were very young, and uh, he had a pond in his backyard and whatever. And we hung out there and we threw rocks in there because they had. A... By your dick? <laughs> no, the, but they did have a dog that would oh. chase rocks into the pond and, and get them. So we were out there for a while, and uh, he had a trailer in the back, and um, Jason needed to go. Like really bad number two. And, oh, okay. Yeah, and so all of a sudden I was, he's like, "What do I do?" I I said, "Run there. There's a trailer. Yeah. There's a bathroom in there. Go use it." Well, anyhow, this trailer had been turned off for some time, it hadn't been used, been sitting back there for years. Shitter's but full. He just took a shit in a fucking in the fucking trailer's bath, and it just sat there. He's sitting, sitting in ninety degree weather, <laughs> and he couldn't flush it. 
And then he got in such bad trouble with my grandfather, my American grandfather, uh, grandpa. Char we called him Chuck. And uh, Chuck was a grumpy motherfucker, by the way. Um, he wouldn't let us use his hmm. pool table. He didn't want to scratch on it. We're like, we're actually good athletes. We can play pool. No, he didn't scratch. like that. Anyhow, you scratching, scratching the felt? Is that what you're doing? Scratching the felt. <laughs> you trying to you trying to chip the cue ball? Is that what you're trying to go up and over? No, he just Why didn't. Are you scratching a pool table? He was a very. A table? No, we didn't even do that. He wouldn't let us play. Period on the pool table. Seems like an excuse to say, "Hey, don't touch my fucking table." Listen, we had some good times with the guy, but everybody that ever knew him knew he was a bastard. So he was an old grumpy <laughs> bastard. So there's he went through a lot. He went through a lot in his time. So well, yeah, he had it makes a disease. Sense <clears throat> makes sense if you're a little grumpy at that age. He had a disease where his limbs would just fall off randomly. So yes, wasn't good. Did they grow he, back? No, he had one leg. He was missing several fingers. So he had a rough life. It and sounds like he's a pirate. Yes. Yarb. <laughs> It would have been more fun if he were a pirate, but it wasn't that much fun. Anyhow, I'm not going to bust on my grandfather on my dad's side that much longer because it's family history things. All right, so we're going to cover the rest of the players we didn't cover in the other report because guess what? Other people played um, mm -hmm. or didn't play, which is also something you have to report. Yeah. We didn't talk about Austin Trusty, who went 90 and another loss for Birmingham, who has played pretty good. Consistently. Yes, yeah. he's a starter for Birmingham. Uh, definitely, fucking, I think it's definitely a good thing, a good, a good sign for him that he's yeah. consistently playing on loan. So whether or not he'll actually pan out and play for Arsenal will be seen. But Then we didn't even talk about Horvath, who has been solid as fuck for Luton. Mm. So uh, this is – oh, now that's Tuesday. They won, but they played again this week, and they did mm -hmm. not win. <clears throat> but it really wasn't his fault. <clears throat> but he's playing, which is more than he can say for Turner and Steph and Mr. My Back is Hurting again. <laughs> Mr. Back Herpes. <laughs> so um, we talked about uh, – oh, Cole Bassett and Taylor Booth had a head-to-head -head in um, uh, in Holland. Holland. Yeah. yeah. Cole Bassett plays Goodness. for Fortuna yeah. Sittard. And uh, Booth plays for Utrecht. And um, even though Utrecht's team won, Taylor Booth did not play. Bassett played the last 20 minutes at least. So there you go. Okay. Um, Mendez, 90 in a loss for Vizela, but it was a really close game versus Benfica. So And, and Alvarado went 23. So that kid's starting to look like he's got a future, Alvarado, by the way. Mm -hmm. Ah, Jesus Christ, help us. But Altidore went 30 and scored for Puebla. I mean, you got to say it. He's playing I mean, abroad. I mean, good for him. Yeah, fine. It's good. But don't call him up. That's all I'm saying. We, well, again, we have we have other nines that are performing at a higher level. So. You know, if he was starting for Puebla and scoring buckets of goals, I might say, okay, well, at this point, at this dramatic point of need, maybe he's the third guy behind maybe Pifak and Sargent. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe that's but the Ferrer that's, keeps putting them in. So I mean, can't yeah, necessarily did. take him out of the uh, out of the conversation though. Yeah. So Ferrer had a good weekend, by the way. He scored. Um, Mihailovic scored. Mm -hmm. This is all um, MLS. MLS stuff. Yep. McGlynn had an amazing assist. Um, he's, he's definitely putting up the numbers for himself there, man. Coming, oh, he, off, coming off that new 20s and everything, he's doing great for Philly. McGlynn really looks like the real deal. He really And he does. was kind of getting harped on uh, in the U-20s, although I Sometimes. don't know why. But I he, mean, the dude can cross a ball like a laser. Yeah. And he can shoot a free kick like a fucking cannon. I mean, this guy's got a great foot and a good eye. That pass that he made for the assist mm -hmm. was amazing. A Bobas, he scored again. So, on top of Ferreira scoring again. So, it's just like, uh, at a certain point, you know, it's like I'm acknowledging that these guys are doing good things. It's just so late in the game. I don't mm -hmm. see Mihailovic, McGlynn, or Ibobasi. Well, definitely not McGlynn. And I don't no, see definitely Ibobasi not McGlynn. Yeah. He hasn't even been included in any of the camps. So I don't see him being brought up now. No. And, uh, yeah, so Mihailovic yeah. might, 
um, just simply because Berhalter has attempted to call him in beforehand. So, yeah. Mighton was not transferred or traded for all I know. I don't, I checked, I didn't see it, but he's now not dressing at all for Nottingham Forest. Hmm. Um, yeah, Horvath went 90 on Friday and lost. We already talked about Sargent in the prior show, so if you missed that, go backwards. Um, all right. We didn't Check at really... the tail end of the show. I'll have hmm. the uh, live stream link to it. We talked about McKinney, but we didn't. Like, he didn't play that well. He played 90 for Juventus. He went the full 90, but it was a little hmm. ragged. Um, he just looks like he's kind of rusty, um, but he's also being pushed, asked to push forward a lot. So... Uh, Dest was in the 18 already for AC Milan. He did not play. Well, I guess we'll figure out if that's a good move for him. I don't know. I don't know yet. I can't say. I can't say. But he's a backup to left and right backs right now at AC Milan. Right wing. Yeah, well, they got injuries. But they could play him uh, in the midfield, too. You could, mm -hmm. theoretically. Uh, McKenzie, another 90 for Genk in a tie. Uh, they sit second in the table behind Antwerp and Belgium. Definitely, definitely making a name for himself this late in this stage. Yep. Hernandez, that kid we introduced last week, went four for Mechelen. Um, Ledesma in the 18 for PSV, so he's back. So that injury was not that serious, but he's not playing. Uh, Shituro Odunze, 90 for Leicester's U21s in a loss. A bad loss, actually. Well, I mean, at least he's playing in the U21s now. He is, but he got, he got slaughtered. Um, Tillman, 90, Green in the 18 for Firth in a tie. They still sit in lower mid-table. We already talked about Tessman Busio and, and Venezia and oh, Rangers. Uh, but in, speaking of Scotland, Joe Effort went 70 for Motherwell um, versus Ian Harks at Dundee United, who went 90 in a 0-0 tie. So, Effort uh, started as one of the attacking players. He played out on the right wing. Pulvara in the 18 for Aberdeen. Christian Ramirez has just been sent to the uh, outhouse. He's not even in the 18 anymore. What a strange turn of events for him. No shit. He's like he's scoring, scoring goals. buckets of goals and then all of a sudden not even on the roster. They're like, yeah, you stopped scoring. Goodbye. Like, like he stopped scoring for a short spell and then he got re relegated to the bench and now he's not going to the It's strange. Well, to be fair, he scored a lot in the first half of the season. The second half of the season, he kept starting and couldn't score at all. Mm. And then they're like, yeah, fuck you. Eventually. It happens. Uh, real, Shash real, real quickly, mm -hmm. uh, we, last week we had talked about uh, Chicharito's uh, little debacle at Toronto FC. Yeah. Did you see his? Uh, did you watch LA game against uh, Kansas City? And watch his PK. Yeah, that was atrocity. <laughs> that was an atrocity of a freak. He yeah. like did a limp decker to the right. It was just, just so. It was like he was, he was trying to just do the nice little dude chip, you know. You know when you're taking the free kick to win the game, you don't get cheeky. You just no. fucking slot it in a yeah. corner. Ninety six minute. You just you just put it away. Don't get fuck around. You don't fuck mm -hmm. around with it. Mm hmm. Exactly. <laughs> um, Terrence, uh, no, Tyler Boyd. There you go. Did not dress for Basikas. Hmm. Way is injured. Balagun, 90 minutes and a goal for Rems. Seems consistent. Yes. <laughs> in a 1 1 tie. EPB, 90 for Trois in a tie. Told John. Uh, the, uh, the EPB uh, tie was, was amazing in the sense that they apparently well, dealt with a red card. Yeah, playing cheap. Too. Early in the game, shit. Yeah, Amazing. managed to pull it off. That's all that matters. I mean, you gotta, you gotta give EPB credit. He's doing what Matt Niaska could not do in France. He went to France, found a team, a decent team, a mid-table team, and made the starting lineup every fucking game. Consistently, yep. Niaska went to France to uh, also what was at the time a mid-table team, and played the first five games. And then couldn't get another minute for the rest of the season, and got blamed by the manager as the problem in the back four. <laughs> I mean, he just gets—he must rub people the wrong way, where they're like, "Yeah, I don't like him, so let's just blame it all on him." Kind of guy. Yeah. Um, not fair to him. Told John ninety. Yes, he's still eligible for us in a zero-zero tie for Sassuolo. 
Uh, Musa, we already talked about in the prior show. So we will move down to, oh, by the way, Sam Vines played against Brian Reynolds. Sam Vines Did he really played. play against him? Yes, he did. Oh, he did literally Brian for finding the field. Because Reynolds played 76 minutes versus on the right versus wow. Vines on the left. Wow. It was head to head. Yeah, the whole game. So it was kind of fun to watch like some of those parts of that game where you're like, oh, yeah, there they are fighting over the ball together. But uh, in the end, Reynolds was yanked at 76. Vines went 90. And Vines' mm -hmm. team won the game. Of Western course. Was, Westerloo, they got some work to do. Westerloo. Uh, Haji Wright, 90 and a loss. Not a great game for him nor the team. Jaboli, Era Yebi, 76 and a lot for Ankaragachu. Uh, yeah, I know that sounds like a made of team name. I stand for him, that is. <laughs> I know I said it too. Matt Turner in the 18 did play. Um, Holmes, 20 and a loss for Huddersfield. Joe Scally, 82 and a loss. He was yanked at the 82nd. Um, for an offensive player. They needed a goal. Um, Sonora, 59, and a loss for Independiente. Cardoso, 65 for Internacional. And a tie, he did not play that well. George Fellow, 7 minutes <laughs> for a second. Two Bundesliga. 7 game. minutes? 7 minutes. Boyd, 81 for Kaiser Slotten in a tie. Henry Wingo, 90 for Fern. Karos, uh, and then we get to Stefan's injured. Hoppy did not play today, so we're on Monday now. It's a step up, though. At least he's making the 18. He Let's was in that. the 18, and I was really thinking maybe he might got to get to play, but they were up by one goal and yeah. with with 15 minutes left, and they put in they took out the other attacking player, the CAM, and replaced him with a defensive midfielder. So they're just makes sense. I understand, yeah, especially the Burrow uh, being where they're at in the table. They're probably just wanting to hold on to that that victory. Yep. So it makes sense. But at least but, he's at least he's no longer with the reserves, and he's back up with the uh, eighteen for that for the time at least. It's pretty obvious he is behind Nunez, McGree, and uh, Watmore. Watmore is his name. W a t m o o r e. What more? What more do you want from what me? More, you beat me too, damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I scored a goal. What more do I need to do? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gooch won 75 in that game and looked really good. He's looked solid in every single match I've watched him play. It really now, has. now that they're back up in the championship, I mean, you can make the argument back when they're in League One, like, I mean, he's playing in League One, you know. Blah, yep. you know? But yep. now he's in championship. I mean, he's doing well. Right. That I'm like, He's not going to get a call up by any means by Burhalter this cycle, but next cycle he he'll likely be a contender for that midfield. Like if, just called up at least give him a chance. When he was in League One, it looked like he was pretty good at building Lincoln logs, and now that he's in Championship, <laughs> it looks like he's pretty good with Legos. Is that the Legos? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's got to move. Well, it up no, there. shouldn't it be like like Duplos, and then like Legos would be like the Premier League or something like that. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Duplos. I never had those as a kid. Those came out. After I was no I longer young. I, I started with Legos at a younger age. Maybe that's why I developed the way I did. Yeah. I did too, man. I had Logo, uh, Legos way early. Fuck yeah. Um, Back in the it, day when Legos were reasonably priced and you got mm. like legit sets like the, like the fucking like medieval like castle sets. And now it's like you can get a Harry Potter set for like $75 and it's like three P Legos and two guys. I'm like, what the fuck am I buying this for? Holy shit. <laughs> I tell you what, I mean, we got to the point where I had a bucket of Legos that were the size of a one of those big plastic containers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. That you have like yeah. a, a, a sea of That's Legos. That's at my parents' house. They have, we have yeah. all our Legos and we had our friends' Legos. They ended up getting rid of them. We're like, yeah, we'll take them. And they've gone through us, my, my brother's kids, and now kind of going through my kids. Nothing was sadder when I moved than chucking those Legos. Hmm. They were my Legos, which became Nick's Legos. But, of course, he never used them. Uh, the only thing Nick would do, is you, if you bought Nick a set of Star Wars Legos where he had the instructions and shit, yeah. he was great at that. But tell him, hey. Here's being empty... creative to do it. Yeah. yeah. Here's an empty box of Legos. Build a tank. Well, I can't it's do a, it. There, there's a castle block. You can create your own castle. Yeah. Yes. It's insane. 
Like I was the opposite. I'm like, oh, this shit comes with instructions. Fuck that. No, I'll build no. what I want. I, I would build it with the instructions, and then the instructions would go by the wayside and go to the trash. And then eventually, at some point, it would get destroyed. And mm -hmm. then I would just end up with a bucket of Legos. Yes. Like, well, you got to be creative and create something. And that bucket, that little pile, joined the big pile that you already yeah, had. Absolutely, yes. And it became a giant pile. And so you'd build, like, out of your own mind, you engineered Battlestar Galactica, you engineered this, you engineered that, and you built it, you know? But, well, it's always yeah. it's fascinating when you have the different sets. Like, all of a sudden, you have a, you go from, like, the medieval, like, castle sets to, to like, the ice frozen planet set. And then you have, yep. like, just the just a generic city set. And then all of a sudden, randomly, like, there's, like, an island, like, a uh, tribal set. And you're like... Like uh, the pirate. Was, yeah, the, pirate the pirates, too, yeah. And yes. you're like, you got, I got so many different styles of pieces here and uh, di different type of uh, foliage. And, the cops, are, cops and robbers set. And yeah. uh, so you got a police car and then you got I a hate getaway I the fucking car. city set. The city set was so fucking boring. I Just because, I mean, is. I'm like, that's, like, now. I don't want now shit. I either want futuristic shit or I want way back in the past shit. Yeah. I mean, so we've us not cussing. I'll be, I know. I'll be really honest. Of the hundreds of sets as a kid, my parents bought me, I probably built four of them, like mm. using the instructions. And sure. one of them was a Star Wars thing. Another thing was uh, Battlestar Galactica. I can't remember what the other two were. Oh, one of them was like a car. You could actually had a steering wheel that mm. worked and, had an engine in the back and all that. Outside of that, I can't remember any of the others. I would just look at it and go, I don't want to build that. This or that. This or that. <laughs> That's a good song by the Black Jeep, by the way. So check it out. If you haven't watched this or that, the video, check it out. All right. I think we're done for tonight. Yeah, I think. Yeah, fuck it. All right. Well, thank you for watching the show. Make sure you like, subscribe. We're going to continue to remain you know, absolutely, I don't know, uh, what would they call that word? Um, uh, there's a word for it when people can't figure who you out who you are. Um, fuck, I can't remember what it is. But we're going to keep doing that. We're going to remain a mystery. That's, an easy, that's an easy word. Um, but there is another word that's more complex I was going to use, but I'm too drunk to use it right now. Uh, until the next time on the Straight Red Card, we will see you on Monday. You're gonna do her. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>